We have a request coming in from Alina. Thank you very much, Alina. Macklemore, Hins Hall. I don't know what this is. About. Let me Google Hins Hall real quick because this seems like it's going to be something uh, maybe, you know, like a, a political thing or about some things going on in the world. Uh, it's it expresses support for the pro-Palestinian protest on university campus that called for divestment from Israel and ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. Okay. All right. I'm going to like the video. I'm going to leave the link to the original in the, in the description. Maybe this helps, you know, boost Macklemore's uh, numbers on his video. <clears throat> so let's get it. Yeah, the people they won't leave What is threatening about divesting and want a peace The problem isn't the protest, it's what they're protesting It goes against what our country is funding Block the barricade until Palestine is free Block the barricade until Palestine is free When I was seven I learned a lesson from Cuban Easy E What was it again? Oh yeah, fuck the police Actors and badges protecting property In a system that was designed by white supremacy but the people are in the streets. You can Just the beat in itself has this uprising element to it, like that vibe, that protest. The beat itself sounds like it's it, you could march to it and protest to it just audibly. Okay, okay. See, you can have your opinion about Macklemore and, and his music and his career and all that, but you got to respect him for, like, putting this shit out. You got to respect him for this shit. Or like you gotta yeah. like some real the shit. People they won't leave. What is threatening about divesting and want a peace? The problem isn't the protest, it's what they're protesting. It goes against what our country is funding. Block the barricade until Palestine is free. Block the barricade until Palestine is free. When I was seven, I learned a lesson Block from Cuban Easy E. What was it again? Oh yeah, fuck, fuck the, the police. police. Actors and badges protecting property and a system that was designed by white supremacy. But the people are in the streets. You can pay off Meta, you can't pay off me. Nice. Politicians who serve by any means. A Pat Kufi and all the companies. You see, we sell fear around the land of the free. But this generation here is about to cut the strings. You can ban TikTok, take us out the algorithm. But it's too late. We've seen the truth, we bear witness. Seen the rubble, the buildings, the mothers, and the children. And all the men that you murdered. And then we see how you spin it. Who gets the right to defend and who gets the right of resistance? It's always been about dollars and the color of your pigment. But white supremacy is finally on blast Screaming free Palestine to their home at last We see the lies and up Claiming it's anti-Semitic to be anti-Zionist I've seen Jewish brothers and sisters out there And writhing in solidarity and screaming free Palestine With them organizing and learning And finally cutting ties with the state That's gotta rely on apartheid system To uphold an occupying violent history okay, I just have to say, you know th This is about the message here, obviously But I have to give props to his, his rhyme schemes here that whole that ride to five that whole scheme he's doing i'll run it back a little bit too um don't get me wrong macklemore can fucking rap who gets the right of resistance has always been about dollars and the color yeah, of your pigment, but white supremacy is finally on blast screaming free palestine to their home at last we see the lies and up claiming it's anti-semitic to be anti-zionist i've seen jewish brothers and sisters out there and riding in solidarity and screaming free palestine with them organizing and learning and finally cutting ties with the state that's gotta rely on apartheid system to uphold an occupying violent history been repeating for the last 75 the neck but never ended the colonizer lied Students intent. That's just his words way heavy. The Nekba? What is that? The Nekba. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Arabic. An Nekba. The catastrophe was the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians in mandatory Palestine during the 1948 Palestine, Palestine War through their violent displacement and disposition of land, property, and belongings, along with the destruction of their society and the suppression of their cultural identity, political rights, and national aspirations. <clears throat> the term is also used to describe the ongoing persecution and displacement of Palestinians by Israel. As a whole, it covers the fracturing of Palestinian society and the long-running rejection of the right of return for Palestinian refugees and their descendants. So during that, in 1948, the Nakba, approximately half of Palestine's predominantly Arab population around 750,000 people were expelled from their homes 
or made to flee, brother. At first, by Zionist uh, para paramilitaries through various violent means. This is fucked up, man. Posted on the lawn, occupying the quad is really against the law. And the reason to call and the police and their squad were to genocide land in your definition, huh? Destroying every college in Gaza and every mosque. Pushing everyone in the rock and dropping bombs. The blood is on your hands, Biden, we can see it all. And fuck no, I'm not voting for you in the fall. Undecided, you can't twist the truth, the people out here united. Never be defeated when freedom's on the horizon. Yet the music industry's quiet, complicit in their platform of silence. What happened to the artist? What you gotta say? If I was on a label, you could drop me today. I'll be fine with it, cause the heart fed my page. I wanna cease fire, fuck a response from Drake. Mm. What you willing to risk? What you willing to get? Hey man, he fucking spitting right now. Talk yo shit. And he, it, like, he's talking shit, but he's talking some real shit. He's addressing some things. Look. I don't know too much about this whole situation. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know too much about this whole situation. But also, a lot of this situation isn't shown to... I'm in Belgium, right? I hear things about it. I'm like, what's going on there? And I kind of have, get the gist of it. I'm like, okay, that's... What the fuck? But it's not being shown a lot on the news or on social media. And there's, there's a lot of truth, I think. I don't know for a fact, right? I usually keep to myself and... Uh, I, I consume content when I'm on live streams. Other than that, I shut devices off. I don't really know what the fuck is going on in the world. I live under a rock. And I just I just take care of my family and people around me, you know? And I just do that type of stuff. And I just focus on what's the next step of, of providing for, for your family. Because you can't expect people, you know, to invest time they already don't have or time they already lack into something like this. And, you know, except for like maybe prayers or thoughts or something, but who is able to do this are people who do have time or the finances and those are celebrities i don't know which celebrity is is um you know putting this to the forefront where it needs to be uh and Ma i ain't gonna lie macklemore is kind of opening my eyes on this you know I, I didn't know the exact situation of this i'll be honest with you guys um yeah it, it, macklemore with this shit Gain a lot of respect for me. I never had anything against Macklemore. Um, I always knew he can rap. He had some some dope songs. You know, he had that mainstream. He had the mainstream run with like Thrift Shop and eh, 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 eh. What, what is that song? Throw your hands up. You know. And he had a uh, he had that one song. Was it Riverside or something? It was uh he was talking about addiction and stuff. I was like, yo, this shit's crazy. And he had the one song talking about the Jordans, like Look Ma I Can Fly or something. Mom, I touched the net. Like those two songs, I'm like, oh, these these shits are hidden. This shit right here, it's just so much respect for for him uh, calling it out. But you also have to realize, a lot of artists under major labels cannot talk about this, or you know, they can't they can't even express their honest opinion because of the labels telling them like, nah, you ain't rapping about this. It goes through a team that does a quality check. It's basically that, and they say, but it's up to their standards. They write the fucking rules. So, if they don't like what you're putting out, because it could cause like you know controversy or it could be bad for numbers and sales, they'll be like, nah, you you redoing that. And it's not just in the West. It's also like, for example, with South Korean uh, artists and K-pop artists, bro. Like they, you think they have a lot to say what their music is? Nah, bro. They're like it's this whole team behind it. Maybe like the more veteran artists and stuff. But this is what happens with the major label artists. But then Macklemore is an honor. At least I don't know what he's at right now. He's independent, I'm guessing. And he's speaking up on it. This is also one of the reasons I have respect for uh, somebody like uh, Tom McDonald. And y'all can have your opinion on him all you want. That dude speaks his fucking mind. But he's also open to conversation. He's he's challenging people to think. He's provoking thought. Like, And, and a lot of people are agreeing with this shit. A lot of people are like, yo, we got somebody who's speaking fucking facts. What I've been thinking my whole life and shit like that. So... I think that's also what he's what he's doing here, um, in a way. He's definitely opening my eyes uh, to a lot of this shit going on. I just know that. Look, I can sit here and say everybody deserves a shot at life and everybody deserves peace. But yeah, 
everybody deserves clean water, but not everybody has clean water. And that's the fucking reality of it. What can you really do about these situations? It's, it's, it's all being run, uh, run by the fucking, the rich, the people in power, fucking people behind the scenes. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. And I, I've always stayed out of political shit or religious shit. Uh, it's just because it's such a fucking cesspool of controversy diving in that shit. And honestly, I don't know too much about all these different, you know, uh, politic si political situations. I only know what I hear from TV. But I don't barely watch TV from news or social media. And then I don't really trust everything I see on, on social media or TV. And I don't really trust all these other, you know, uh, actors or, or celebrities or influencers or whatever the fuck we call them, people online. I don't really trust any of them, really, right? Um, except unless if I have, like, unless if I know they have some level of integrity or unless I respect them personally. Uh, so I don't know everything. I don't know if what Macklemore is saying is, is all of it is factual. Like, you know, Take everything with a grain of salt and do your own digging. I will definitely do some more like research, looking into this uh, myself. But then again, my channel is about music. You know, if I start diving into all of this fuck shit going on and it's horrible, as horrible as it is, that's not what my shit's about. You know, it's kind of like checking out music, enjoying it, analyzing it, and spreading it. You know, and supporting it. That's basically the whole thing of it. And I'm just show up and I try to entertain. It's, it's basically what you do when you stream and stuff like that. Shit like this, I just don't think I'm the right person to be addressing this. I'd, I'd say go to Jordan Peterson, go to whoever else is. Uh, it's just an example. I, I'm not saying y'all should agree with him. It's just like those are the guys. Those are the guys that I would listen to just to get their uh, perspective on it and learn a bit more on those topics myself. But also another factor is... I'm a single dad with like people I have to take care of and then also trying to just, you know, go uh, get by day by day. Similar to a lot of people here in the chat, we ain't got time to be investing so much into this. Our minds are already clogged with so much shit going on in our own lives and then all this other pressure on top of it. Bro, people really off themselves for this. Sh people kill themselves. For it. it just gets too much, man. Like you got to just even being uh, present and dealing with hundreds of people thousands of people's opinions every single day trying to communicate with people you know socially that shit's draining if we're keeping it real um you know people say it's an easy job i'll be honest it is like streaming and stuff like that it's it's not too hard for me but i've grown uh, accustomed to dealing with people or being on social media it, it took me three years to like get to this point where i'm like it's cool it's calm but there are people who would not want to be doing this. You know, they'd rather work six days a week, seven days a week, manual labor. They're like, man, keep me out of that shit. I won't be able to deal with that. But then again, I understand the perspective of, oh, blessed, privileged. But you got to understand there's two sides to the coin. And it's all about perspective. That being said, this is about the situation, the topic at hand. Respect, Macklemore, for speaking up on this shit. I'm going to share this shit too, man. Um, I'll just put respect. Maybe, maybe the, I don't know if this helps. Maybe five people will see this shit and be like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Uh, it's really against the law, and a reason to call in the police and their squad. Where does genocide land in your definition, huh? Destroying every college in Gaza and every mosque, pushing everyone in the rough and dropping bombs. The blood is on your hands, Biden. We can see it all. And fuck no, I'm not voting for you in the fall. Undecided, you can't twist the truth. The people out here united. Never be defeated when freedom's on the horizon. Yet the music industry's quiet, complicit in their platform of silence. What happened to the artist? What you got to say? If I was on a label, you could drop me today. I'll be I like that he showed Tupac, because Tupac would speak up about this shit. I'm with it because the heart fed my page. I want to cease fire. Fuck a response from Drake. What you willing to risk? What you willing to give? What if you were in Gaza? What if those were your kids? If the West was pretending that you didn't exist, you want the world to stand up, and the students finally did. Let's get it.
Yeah, I'm with Macklemore on this. Um, look, man. What what I think everybody just wants is um, peace. Where you know you could have your you could disagree, of course, but the war is is never the answer. But it's gotten to that point. War is young people dying because of disagreements and decisions of the rich and powerful it's the it's the innocent people suffering the civilians are suffering all because of the the decisions of the rich it's a similar situation with ukraine russia I speak for everybody when I say we just want peace and shit, but that's not the reality of these things. This this is a very sensitive uh, topic, and I'm be honest, I don't know enough to be, you know, really going in depth on this. But maybe it's my responsibility to go educate myself on this shit and just try to see what's going on left and right. But then again, this is my opinion, right? I purposely stay away from all this news because if you watch the news every day it fills your mind with paranoia and anxiety bro you see death everywhere it's because you're fed that shit i stay away from that shit because i want my mind to be clear focused and positive or realistic because i'm raising kids and i want them to not be constantly thinking about all this shit so i don't put myself in front of that either Raising kids in itself is a full-time job, but that, you know, that doesn't mean that what's going on there isn't fucked up. That shit is messed up, bro. Seeing those kids, seeing those people, like, slaughtered and shit, seeing those kids, seeing those, it it fucks with you mentally and emotionally, you know. But it's also, what the fuck can you really do about it other than donate or other than, and, and most people aren't capable of donating to that cause i mean i can i can tell y'all like yo go support them and go go show some love here i think macklemore uh what he did here is it's very commendable i respect it and he is in a position to definitely be speaking up on that shit and it isn't like it isn't the situation y'all remember what was it man during the pandemic there was this situation where um you know how independent people who work in the entertainment sector for example and i mean concerts or you know shows stuff like that or cafes that situation when everything was forcefully shut down because of the pandemic right i have my opinion on that shit because a lot of people i know some people in belgium that kill themselves i know them people they ended themselves because they just couldn't get out of debt they couldn't fix their life because of that um Then you have these celebrities singing fucking songs. They were singing, I think, Imagine or something. It just pisses you off. You're like, shut the fuck up. Why are you even fucking singing, man? You fucking privileged pricks. Christophe Swidzinski tip 20 euro. Maybe you will enjoy Polish drill. Wish you good weekend. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. I, I will, uh, I will go back on that in a second. The comparison I'm trying to make is that when you have celebrities singing, imagine, like that, it's like The Rock, when he did that, he he recently had this, he was showing support, I don't remember what it was exactly, but it just doesn't seem authentic, it's like it's a publicity stunt, it's like he's just trying to make himself look good, I don't know man, it's just weird. Comparing Macklemore, what he did here to that, this is heartfelt. He he meant this shit. This came from his soul. He was like, man, I got to speak up about this shit. That I fucking believe. Right? I'm going to put this on my channel. Uh, I mean, I don't, It's not going to get monetized. I don't care about that. I just want to put this on my channel to share perhaps my opinion and the people of chat. Maybe this will help uh, shed some light on this. I think Eshplum is in the chat, bro. Eshplum. If you got a moment, check out this one, bro. Macklemore Hens Hall. This is this is uh is heavy. But 
perhaps it's the responsibility of you know people with the community to speak up about it but then again it is your own decision yeah i saw him in the chat a little bit man 